Hello everyone. So this is the second of three consecutive aces I had. First one was on Pilsen, not a particularly favorite light tank map. This one is Berlin, another not great light tank map. I was uh, in the middle of a three mark run and I was ruining my map rotation at that point in time. I have a T I'm in a T71 and with Noob Sabo who's in a Hellcat. Uh, enemy team has, a, has one light tank and an EBR, a line of TDs, two already, and a couple of uh, heavies there. I oftentimes open by going to this triangle bush from this side, um, which is a good but not great spotting position. The better spotting positions are up on this trench, but they're a lot trickier and a lot more um, risky to go to, especially since the enemy has an EBR, which can get there faster than I can. Our E25 is going into an odd position. Anyway, I make the triangle bush safely. I like to have a, uh, some support from here and maybe some support from here. Uh, the E25 goes up. He's going to draw some fire. I see a couple of VKs and hope that my team can get some damage out. Noob immediately nails this EBR, this BK. Luckily their EBR crashed. That's one thing, the less thing I have to worry about. But this VK is now in the trench that I would have shifted to to try to spot this area. And that trench is going to be challenging. Uh, E25 and VK are trading shots. I'm trying to see whether I can get something on this Yak Panther. Sometimes, uh, if they come outside this way, I could get some shots safely, but not right now. VK is taking, still taking fire. T69 was maybe not. I don't think it was my spot. VK is down to about half, a little bit less than half. At this point, there's nothing much to do other than sit patiently. Once this VK goes down, I can get a little more adventurous here. Either that or they're going to push up this way. Usually the teams like to push up the K line to try to get uh, some action. Um, let's see, a T69. goes down, T69, it's my spots, but he sort of tucks in behind this wall here. This VK is going to go in here now. Almost certainly going to go in. There he goes. And nobody shoots him. Another VK is lit, T71 crosses the open, our Sturv decides he wants to, he wants to move to the next game. Now here I am, in the middle of the bush, the VK doesn't have eyes on me, should be able to drop a full clip into this guy. VK is still obscured by line of sight here. That was not the smartest play. I don't think I was fully properly double pushed and I'd take some punish for that get out, get off a little bit safer than I deserve to. Scorpion zero damage crit me. That would have been at the end of me. There's that scorpion. And T69 is still trying to, oh no, he's trying to shoot the VK behind me. Scorpion's there. There's a lot of firepower arrayed in front of me. Game's 2-2. Two, two. Scorpion take a big thwack. And he finally decides to back off. Up to 1400 spotting. 300 damage myself. City looks like it's winning. I know I'm gonna live for that, but I'll just... Huh. And I, apparently I was not. Star is here, I know, somewhere. I'll take a full clip. There's the VK. He is 
running. Noob's latest coin on him. Meanwhile, City, shockingly, has lost. We were doing okay for a second, but we lost. Got lit here, probably the Stire, or this side. Now, here's a little bit of a dilemma. Do we try digging out these last few tanks? Or do I go deal with this situation here? Noob sticks a big couple of hits. T69. And Star lights me and smashes me. He stops to shoot me and that's the death of him. Still alive. 69 HP. Nice. T69 is being not so nice. Their city is now counter pushing into our RHM. T69 is here. Noobs picks up their VK. That already picks up the RHM. Game's still a little bit in the balance. We have a T69 who's alive. It's 9 9. We're about even in HP. They do have a Scorpion who can one shot a lot of us. We have a healthy T44 who has about half of our HP. T69 runs. It's an easy pick for me. 10 9. We're up 1200. Scorpion's a one-shot, KV-1S is pretty uh, low. They have two already, three already. So, I decided I'm gonna pick off this KV-1S uh, because I don't wanna try to dig out the Scorpion. Hello, already number one. One shot, two shots, three shot, and go for the reload. One down. Okay, KV1S has made it onto cap. Noobs thinks he's able to deal with that, but I want to go back and make sure in case things go, don't go so well. HP is about even. And then I see the scorpion running across the open. He's going to come and try to smack noobs in the back, and I don't want to let, let him do that. So, one shot and two shot, and he's down. Puts me to four kills. Artie and noobs take out the KV-1S. That just leaves two Artie, and it's, and it's party time. Let's see if I can pick these two for both uh, the Dumitru's medal and the Top Gun. We still have three already alive. And there's a few things Artie likes better than hitting other Artie. There's one more Artie lit. It's tucked in, but a sliver of a shot there. One, two, and he's down. Die, M44, die. Few things at, at uh, tier give more pleasure than shooting M44s. There's the last hardy he missed, and I was able to beat two already to the punch, and that was the game. 1800 spot, uh, 1800 damage, 2246 spotting, and six kills for a bunch of medals. Thank you for watching.